Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm sorry I haven't posted um, in this past week. I was away. I went to Boston for the weekend, which was super fun, but I didn't get to take my computer with me, and so I didn't get to make a video. And then school happened, and I was so freakishly busy. It was insane. Like, so insane. Um, but I'm here now, and we're making a video. And today's video is the September favorites. Okay, so I know it is October. I am very aware that it is October. My computer is telling me it is October 8th. I believe my computer. I trust my computer. My computer will not lie about the date. So, um, but I still wanted... Oh, stupid hair! Yeah. Okay. I still wanted to do this video because... Eh, dumb hair. I apologize for my hair. It's doing whatever the heck it wants today. Um, but I still wanted to do my September favorites video because I had some things that I wanted to share that were so cool that I just wanted to share with y'all. So, um, also, I am filming from a different perspective in my room. I call this my Paris corner because I have lots of paintings of the Eiffel Tower and Paris. Um, and please let me know, um, I have so much artwork in my room um, and lots of things, decoration-like things. So if you ever want me to explain uh, all of my artwork, please, you know, comment. Let me know. I have so much stuff in my room that's really, I think, I, I think it's cool. It may not be cool to y'all, but um, I think it's cool. And uh, uh, without further ado, let's get started with the very late September favorites video. Woo! So my first favorite is a lipstick I've had for a while, and I've been using it sort of to transition from summer into fall, you know, you, but, you know, you do a transition color, and that transition color for me was this NYX or NYX matte lipstick. Ta -da. My Wonkalish friend. There you go. And I think I really like this color. It's part of their matte line. The color is T Rose number MLS 11. And Okay, it smells really good, first of all, and it's a beautiful, beautiful pinky mauve. It's a beautiful color. I'm just going to swatch it for you. I'm going to swatch on my other hand, because I was swatching other lipsticks today, and so there's like lipstick on my hand, but it's super, super creamy, and it's a beautiful beautiful mauve shade and I wear it all the time and it stays on all day and it's perfect and beautiful and I wear this even during like the winter months it's so versatile sometimes I wear it in summer it's a little dark for summer but even then I wear it I just I take another look at that that's an absolutely uh, beautiful beautiful color it's absolutely beautiful and I love it and because it's just a really a really good transition color from summer into fall. And if you're still transitioning um, into the fally months, you know, I do a very quick transition because I love fall and winter. But if you do a slow transition and you want to hold on to summer, this is a really good color to use. So my next favorite is a blush. I really love blushes. Blushes are one of my favorite things. I, eh, Clinique. Soft pressed powder blusher and it's got this beautiful marble design if you can see that I think it's beautiful it's kind of going to glint and inside it comes with a brush um, which I don't really use the brush much because I like to use my own blush brush but you definitely can use this brush and it's a beautiful color it, the color is number six fig um, that's exactly how I would describe it as a fig. Beautiful, sheer, kind of red, red plum kind of color. And I wear this, you can wear this in the fall and winter months as well. The next thing I have to talk about, um, I've already talked about it in one of my previous videos. I'm just going to mention it because it's one of my favorites. And it's the Naked 2 Basics. And we've already seen it. It's this beautiful palette. Looks great. And it has all um it has all of these beautiful, beautiful matte shades 
I literally, I wore this pretty much every single day in September. I wore this every single day, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, I love this. It is so versatile. I can use it. It's really great for my skin tone, personally. Um, I think it's a really great palette. And I love it. And it's awesome. And if you want to see a more in-depth a review on it you can check in one of my previous videos it was, it was my haul video and you can check a more in-depth description including swatches with this in my haul video but I just I had to mention it because if you have seen my haul video you know how much I've ranted and raved about this I absolutely love this it is one of my favorite things in the whole entire makeup universe it's so great so great gray shadow we're bringing it back yeah. uh, the next product is also a product I've mentioned in one of my previous videos. I mentioned it in my Ipsy Glam bag, and that is um, Harvey Prince Hello Perfume. It's a roller ball, which I love. Um, I wish you could smell it through the internet. It smells so good. It smells kind of like florally and you know light. I love roller balls because I can just stash them in my purse. It's amazing, and I love it, and it smells. Amazing. So I have one more beauty product, and then we're on to like lifestyley kind of things. Mm. Uh, the final beauty product is a hairspray that I have recently fallen back in love with, and it is Aquanet. Um, in the pink container, which is the extra super hold, all day, all weather, all over hold. It's so they have like super hold, and then extra super hold and I got the extra super hold because my hair really needs it. Um the thing about this that I've recently fallen in love with, it was very similar. It's very, very similar to the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, which if you know the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, you know that it literally locks your hair into place. The Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray is ridiculously strong. But it's kind of expensive, you know? It's kind of expensive, and I was in ShopRite the other day just getting some stuff, and I came across this one that I, I use this a lot. Um, I do theater, and I would use this a lot for shows, but I haven't used it in a while, and it was like two forty nine, Like, literally for this humongous bottle, it was like two forty nine. Now, that may have been a sale price, but it's still, I don't think it's very expensive literally so much and it lasts forever on your hair and I love this I've been using this whenever I do my hair like I, I attempted to do my hair today I don't think it worked very well but I attempted to do it and I put Aquanet and it stayed sort of not not pin straight that was my goal to be not to be not pin straight because my hair is normally pin straight and right now it's sort of it's sort of not pin straight so there you go, Aquanet. You did your job. You did your job. Great. Next item is clothing. And I am a scarf fiend. If my friends can tell you, I am obsessed with scarves. I try to wear scarves whenever I can when I'm not sweating or dying. Scarves and sweaters are like my number one thing. I tried to I tried to do that once in the summer and I almost died but I looked really cute um so I probably will have a scarf in every one of my favorites videos from now until February so be warned um I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite scarves right now that I wore throughout the month of September even though it's a pretty heavy scarf I was like fall just come already so this scarf I don't know who the designer is because I bought it at a craft fair so I think the person who I bought it from actually made it so I don't know if you can get it from anybody, this specific scarf. Um, but this is one of my favorite scarves right now. And it's, I'll show you up close. Look at this. It's pink and has these gold threads running through it. And it's holes. See? Woo! And it's these pink and gold threaded holes. And I think it's beautiful. And it's like yarn. It almost feels like wool. I know it's not wool, but it almost feels like wool. It's great, and it's literally huge. It's so, I mean, it's it's actually past my computer. It's so big. Um, like here's the end right here. Can you can you see the end? And then it goes all the way over here. 
Like, this thing is huge. And when it's out like this, it's so light and fluffy. It's so, you know, comfortable. I like to, I like to play with my scarves. And so this is a great one because it's super comfortable. But when it's together, it's very dense and very um, warm. It's a really warm scarf. And I love it so much and it just reminds me of coziness and fall and winter and beautiful coziness warmness <laughs> yeah um so i wore this one a lot and it's pink which is great because pink is like my favorite color and um i just love this and i think it's great even though you can't get this specific scarf any scarf is really great for fall or winter because not only is it a great accessory to your outfit it's also going to keep you really warm, um, especially if you live in a city like New York or Boston or Chicago. Woo! It is cold. It's real cold. And you need a scarf um, or hat or mittens. But scarves are great because they're an accessory and they keep you warm. They're like blankets for your neck. They're so great. And you, they come in all different colors. If you don't have a scarf, I would invest in a scarf. Um... I just think scarves are pretty essential for fall and winter. Um, but this could kind of go with my outfit. And the thing about scarves is you can just be like, what, what, fashion, yes. So, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the video, because I feel like it. Yay! Uh, the final thing I'm going to talk about is actually a movie I watched. And it is called Rhapsody in Blue. And I know you might be thinking, like, what the heck is this movie? I've never heard of it. I wouldn't expect you to hear of it. Um, it is, it was from 1945, so it's in black and white, and it is, I'm, I'm reading off of Wikipedia, so bear with me. Um, it says, Rhapsody in Blue, 1945, is a fictionalized screen biography of the American composer and musician George Gershwin, released by Warner Brothers. So, if you don't know George Gershwin, um, George Gershwin was a composer for the theater. He wrote Summertime from Porgy and Bess. The show Crazy for You um, has is all George Gershwin music. Someone to Watch Over Me, I Got Rhythm, and he wrote a very famous piece called Rhapsody in Blue, and it was this big, big orchestral piece that he wrote, and it was fantastic and amazing, and it was like the epitome of his career. And that's why the movie is called what it is. And it's this very interesting telling of his life. And I really like it um, because, first of all, I love George Gershwin. And I think he's great. Um, and I love all the music. And, two, I love old movies. And this is in black and white. And I love, 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 love black and white movies. I love black and white movies. They just have such classicness to them that really no other movie no other movie style can compare to old movies, black and white movies, you know that, you know that old sense of class. But I loved the way they told his story. It wasn't like this happened and then this happened and then this happened. It was like flowing and a wonderful telling. It was like a story. It was, it felt like I was on an adventure, on a story. And it was really interesting. Um, and it was just very, it was really cool and fun to watch and, you know, listen to. And I loved it. So, um, so thank you so much for watching today. I hope this was semi-interesting. Um, these favorites are sort of scattered all over the place. And um, I'm glad that I got this video up. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful fall so far. I told you before I love fall right now I'm in my room and I have like candles burning and scents from Bath and Body Works and it just smells like pumpkin and fall and amazingness and it's great uh, so um thank you so much and I will see you guys later bye yeah so uh, and I really love blushes. What is my hair doing? Okay. Oh! Um, it comes with a brush. <laughs> In case you didn't notice. Um, this is a really brush. This is a really... Alright. <clears throat> These. Can't hold it. This one's long.
and ah, oh, my stupid hands. I I can't do this like thing. Perfume, like you have perfume in your bag. It's I believe. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know. Anyway, and um, I'm sorry, my computer's bouncing. I'm like bouncing on my bed. Woo. Anyway, um. Um, so, bye bye beauty products. Hello life. Okay. So the really tell from some of my paintings, paintings. Where'd you go? There you are. And.